every cool guy who's in good shape should love his mom and my mom's birthday is today. Happy birthday, mom! It's bloody 602! I don't know why I got aggressive, but happy birthday. Yeah! <laughs> It's Saturday in beautiful Luxembourg, and I slept in. It's pretty rainy out there. I'm gonna go try and find a good cup of coffee. There is a coffee maker here, like a Keurig type thing, but no little coffee things. I don't know what to put in it. It's not actually a Keurig, it's something else, and I don't know how to work it or what goes in it, so we're gonna get out of here. My plan is for today's vlog to come to you in three parts. Part one, coffee and a little bit of exploration. Part two, Probably an Airbnb tour because people want to see this kind of stuff. And part three, running from the po po. And part three is a little bit more exploration. Last night I went out for a beer. I did not find the giant like stein that I was hoping to get, which is okay because I really don't want a giant stein worth of beer. But I did go back to Liquid, the place that we walked by earlier, and it was awesome. I had a really, really good beer selection. If you're ever in Luxembourg and you're looking for any selection of beers, they had quite the selection. So do hit them up. The staff were really nice, and it was just a fun spot. And I met a guy who works in the tourist industry here who will remain nameless because he does not want to be in the vlog, but he's gonna show me around a little bit. So we'll try to take a tour with him and not get him in the vlog at all later. We'll see how all this turns out. I really don't know how it's gonna turn out. But first and foremost is the, is the coffee part. Wise. Google really does not know how this bus system works. The nice thing is that the city is so small it's only a 20 minute walk to get anywhere. But the downside of course is that Google Maps gives you false hope that maybe you'll be able to catch a ride. And public transportation is supposed to be free today. That's one of the fun things that the guy I met last night told me was that on Saturdays public transport is free. It's really cool. But not helpful for me because I'm on the wrong side of town. <laughs> I think that pushing buttons at crosswalks is a novel idea. <laughs> Two of the more highly rated coffee places are actually about a five minute walk away from each other. It's like a 20 minute walk from where I'm from. Golden Bean, and then another one just up here. I think I'm gonna go try the other one that's farther away because tomorrow, depending on how things go and where, you know, like how my flight is working out, whatever, I might wanna come to the closer spot tomorrow. I'm very tempted just to go in here. I'll come back here tomorrow. A pretzel croissant. This place is definitely the love child of France and Germany. That was delicious coffee. The filter was so good. And apparently, the I just met a really, really interesting group of uh, locals who are not from here, but who live and work here. Really good meeting you guys. Really good to chat if you see this. And they told me that was the best coffee in town, but it'll be closed tomorrow. So I really made a good decision on that. Now, one of the things they told me about, the guy I met last night actually runs the tunnels that run under the city, which is fascinating. Want to see that? You know, wartime tunnels to get through the, uh, the fortifications. The other thing, they said there's a glass lift over here somewhere. So I'm going to try and find a glass elevator. I don't know. I, it sounds fun. You know you're in a small town when the most fun thing to do is take an elevator. So let's find that elevator if we can. Go see the Royal Palace. If we can find the tunnels, buy a ticket and go into that. And that sounds, that sounds good to me. I'm applying my usual exploration logic to wandering now. I saw a spire over here. I don't know what it belongs to, but there are also some really cool looking roofs. So that's what, that's what I'm following now. And then I'm sure we'll see something else that looks interesting from there. We should walk through this park, maybe. Let's do it. Uh, 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 uh. Off the beaten path. Well, actually, technically, this is a very beaten path because it's paved. You get the idea, but look. What is that? I don't know, but let's find out. This is 
is a retirement home. For those of you who ever wanted to retire in style, this is it. So the glass elevator is supposed to be around here somewhere. I'm gonna try and take a time lapse of this. I think we have enough definition with the clouds. <laughs> Town, see a spire. I'm trying to find the Royal Palace, which I walked by yesterday. I have a feeling that I'll be able to find it again here. It's just nice to walk around. It's a nice quiet town. It seems like there's plenty of shopping to do if you're a shopper. And the food, from what I've read, is basically just an amalgamation of French and German, which we saw very clearly with the croissant pretzel this morning, which is actually very good. I don't even really like pretzels that much. The giant pretzels, you can get pretzels everywhere, but it's an interesting mix. So, actually, my goal tonight is to find something basically beer and french fries. We're, we're close to Belgium. It's kind of what I'm more after more than anything. The tunnels under the city remain the mystery, so I'm gonna try and figure that out. It's only supposed to be six euros to go do those, and then after that, I don't know that there's much else to see, so I'll just keep wandering and see what I discover. But it turns out that this spire is just on top of a bank. <laughs> it? I think this is it. Find out here in a minute. I think one of the more interesting aspects of Luxembourg is that because space within the city walls is such a premium, there's no, there's no there's no space, empty space around like the important monuments. Like the cathedral is completely hemmed in by other buildings. The royal palace as well, like it's on a street with other stuff completely around. It's really interesting. Obviously, if you go to London or Paris, even I think in Brussels, you end up with like a lot of space around like the, the really important landmarks, but here there's no wiggle room, which is really interesting. It gives it a completely different feel. Beautiful too. Score. All right, postcards for the family, pins for my sister. Now, I realize I haven't gone to the other side yet. Like I haven't crossed the bridge and actually made it over to where that clock tower is. So I'm gonna kind of abandon the tunnels, I think. I guess I could actually go to the tourist office and ask them about it though. Okay, let's go to the tourist office. We can ask them about it, but I really wanna get to that clock tower before it gets dark. So let's see how this pans out. <laughs> Miss the lion's share of the market. And by that I mean like pretty much all of it, they're closing up. Should find lunch here soon, but the tourist office is just next to the square and the mayor's office. Look at that, Hotel de Ville. So I'll check that out. See if we can't find our tunnels. And otherwise, oh man, that smells good. And otherwise, uh, go find a clock tower. Stop in for this is a local beer. Triple, it's a Belgian, it sounds really good. And then apparently a local stew as well. So we'll see how the stew is once we get there. Thank you so much. What's the name of this again? Bungle Schlup. Oh God. The Fox's Place, that's what this translates to. Tasty beer. So I got a local stew, which was very delicious, and uh, and then a local brew as well, which is also very tasty. Now it's time to go find these stinking tunnels, and then we've pretty much accomplished everything at that point. Oh, except for the clock tower. Dang it, we got so much to do. 
They were so friendly though. They actually gave me a couple of little Luxembourgish lessons, which I've already pretty much forgotten. Highly recommend it just for the friendliness factor. So thanks for hosting me if you guys ever see this. I feel like there's something else. Oh, I think it was Dixie. Uh, asked a couple things. Yes, it was a golden lady. I'll show you the golden lady here later. I, I didn't. Re I realized that I never actually followed up on whether or not it was a. La it's definitely a lady. Oh, there was actually a postcard of her. So just in case we don't see her again later, let me show you this postcard. That is much closer than we're going to be able to get with my camera. So. I think that works out pretty well. All right, tunnels. And then that's pretty much it for the day, I think. Let's see if we can make this happen. All right, guys, this church. We were apparently right next door to the entrance when we came out this far. Whoops, pretty sure at least. But I think that's the entrance down there with those flags. It took me some work to figure out where this was because it's not super clearly marked. Maybe it's more clearly marked than I give it credit for, but when you walk across the bridge right here, you come here, you can go up this little turret, see the World Heritage signs. You just gotta go back down these stairs, kind of hidden in the back corner, and then the ticket office is at the bottom of these stairs. Now, problem, hold on. Unfortunately, what was not advertised is that it was cash only and I don't have any cash on me, which I'm gonna, I can walk up here and get cash at the ATM and then go back. But in looking in there, it's also really dark and I'm not sure it'll film very well. Basically, the casemates, 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 figure out how to pronounce that here in a little bit, but a really fascinating series of underground tunnels that were dug out over centuries by different militaries that ran the place over the period of history, like the Spanish, among others, that actually dug out fortifications from underneath the city. So there are batteries for cannons and all kinds of other things that are actually built out of the rock beneath us. So basically turning this entire hill into one giant fortress, which is really, really neat. Cool history. I'll make sure to link to it below. I'm not sure it'll film very well, and after taking so long to find the place and now having to walk up and get cash not to declare defeat but i'm not sure it's 100 worth it especially since we're running out of daylight and i still haven't gone over and seen the clock tower yet priorities so if it turns out to be one of those regrettable mistakes and i wind up wishing that i'd seen it there's always time to come back to luxembourg i can always come back but in the meantime let's try to find that clock tower Not good enough, not a good enough photo. Feeling a little bit choosy with my photos here on the disposable camera. This one's getting given away in total, so I'll find a better one here in a minute. Probably the clock tower. Why, why am I taking one to the street? We should take one to the clock tower. Much better, much better. I'm not sure if this is a, there's a bank across the street. I think this is a bank. Every, I think every, like almost everything is owned by a bank in this city, to be honest. Fortunately, with all the construction, the clock tower experience was a little bit underwhelming. But we got over here, we saw it, found out it was a bank. We learned something new every day, right? Wait, wait. Pretty much all goals have been accomplished at this point. I would like to go see the tunnels at some point. The case, casemate, case, casemate, casemate. I'll have to figure that. I'll still, I'll figure that out eventually. I would like to go see it, but it's always good to leave something to come back and see later because at some point in my life, I'm going to want to, you know, visit again, and I, I gotta leave something. You know, you always gotta leave something. That's. That's why I haven't gone up Sacre Coeur yet. I'm just waiting for a special occasion. So I'm feeling pretty tired. I've been walking around this city all day. Uh, I'm probably gonna try and find something to eat and go my charge this, do a little bit of editing, and then meet my tourism industry buddy tonight. He'll give me the unofficial tour of the city. We'll grab a drink and I'll see what actually comes out of that because since he doesn't want to be in the video, I might just have to share some stories tomorrow from what he shares with me just because he doesn't want to be in it. And I think I already have enough, to be honest, from today's exploration. So we'll see what happens. I will, of course, put whatever tasty beer we end up getting in at the end though this time, just to make sure you guys don't feel left out on the whole beer front. But I have tried some, a few local beers now. And they're all pretty tasty, so far so good. So probably like a good 25 minute walk back to where I came from and we'll see if we find a snack on the way. <laughs> My buddy Luke suggested, he basically demanded that I come to this Indian restaurant because it's his favorite in the world. And I'm so hungry and I cannot wait. And got butter chicken, which is my favorite Indian dish in the world, but this is the single largest piece of naan I have ever seen in my entire life. This is one piece of naan. Anyways, I'm really, really excited. I'll, we'll just cut to whatever beer we ended up getting and call it a night. 